What's up, Sneaker Fam? It's your boy McFly, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today, coming at you again with another real review. If this is your first time over here in Orlando, McFly, welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to keep you up to date with everything that I got is going on. And as always, something going zone. Also, subscribe to the Who Has the Heat Sneaker Battle channel where we run these sneaker YouTube battle streets, man. We are the top tier, the top brass, the top militia, and I guess any other show would debate that, but <laughs> it is what it is, man. Stay tuned. Coming back in September, man. Did y'all miss us? Y'all missing us, man? I know it ain't the same without us. You did. But we coming back, man. Just sit tight. So today, man, we coming at you with another review of a reach back that I had to have. Um, I take that back. Not a shoe that I had to have, but the price point was right. So I went ahead and uh, copped that is the FAMU Rattlers uh, LeBron 7s, the green joints. And apparently um, these appeared to be pretty limited initially and all of a sudden prices started tanking. So I went ahead and um, jumped on them things. As most of pretty much everybody following these shoes know, they had a black pair as well. Got a review up on the channel of these if y'all want to check that out. So this right here is the black version. This is the green version. They both dropped at the same time. Um, I actually hit a pair of these and um, I forget who it was. I think it was like Kicks NY. Somebody ended up canceling my order, so I didn't get them. So let me know, man, how you guys feeling about these. You like them, you don't like them. Uh, what's your favorite LeBron model? Um, I don't really, these are the only two LeBron 7s that I got, man. And they're pretty cool. I ain't, I ain't hating on it. You know, after that, um, who has the heat LeBron battle, man, really opened my eyes to a lot of LeBrons and I started taking more chances, man. Um, I had some bronze previously, but due to pinky toe pain, I had to let them things go. But um, I started sizing up here lately a couple years ago and it's been working out. So maybe if they ever retro those other pairs that I had, I'll get those back. But I ain't tripping, bro. Pinky toe pain and me don't get along, so they had to go. But um, this shoe was fire, man. Y'all know I was really interested in it, especially because it had that uh, green Gatorade feel on the joint. You see them? Bam! Them, bam! Them right there. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna definitely, um, I'm gonna definitely do that. So um, I got these off of Goat. Paid a whopping two hundred and ten dollars for them. The box didn't have a lid. That's why I got the back of the box showing because ain't no front of the box, and that looked better <laughs> like that to me. But the black box was different. It was like a pullout box, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But I'm sure these came from the outlet or whatever, and they were discounted. So ain't no big deal. You know what I'm saying? I don't know discounts. You know, retail on these was two hundred dollars. So basically ten dollars over retail. I got these super steel. Now to get into the shoe, man check this out so you see that green and orange translucent meeting in the middle with that little reflective hologramic thing is this something written in there what does that say lebron lebron james <laughs> that's what it says on the inside of that little holographic lebron james on that joint the orange and the green hit come up to that mid so you see your visible air unit with that white splatter all around it solid touch on that then you've got your green up here on the joint flipping around to the side you got that lebron logo back here that's what your back's looking like swooshes wrapping around you got that snake don't get too close y'all heard the rattle <laughs> y'all heard the rattle man got that snake on the side man that's one of the main differences from the black pair and the orange pair they put the um actual logo on the side instead of the tongue on these joints looking at the medial you got a baby smaller swoosh in that orange coming around there and then you see your little patterns up here on this plastic in the upper on both sides swoosh has that green splatter on the inside of it solid touch man this shoe is fire and you got your built-in uh, lace debris on the lebron they have these flat nice real nice laces um FAMU Rattlers branding up here on the top of the tongue. And then the star of the show is this suede, man. Bro, this suede is crazy. You see that? You see how that move? Crazy. This is some real. This is some, this, this some nice suede on this thing, as the homie Rupert would say, man. Shout out to Rupert. Got your little satin uh, hits up here across the top. Interior all greened out. LeBron logo on the insole. Solid. Let me get you a shot of the other shoe. But they match to the T. It's the exact, exact same thing, man. No problem. 
decent quality on the shoe. I rather enjoy the fit of these as well. But let me know what y'all think. I ain't gonna put down bam, I'm gonna put this one up here just so y'all can see it. Let me know what y'all think, man. Like I said, I personally prefer the black pair. You see the swoosh has got the white speckle with the gray outline, you know. Logo up there on the tongue with the green hits up here instead of the orange lace tips, all that. But yeah, if you want to see that review, you can. Let me know in the comments um, which one of these you like better. You like the green or you like as soon as you get stuck. Or you like the black. I like the black. Um, but yeah, man. Solid shoe. Colorway is popping. Y'all know I'm glad to have it. Um, as far as fit goes, I went a full size up in these bad boys. A full. You hear me? A full size up. And uh, they fit perfect, man. No pinky toe paint on nothing. Full size up in these. I probably wouldn't recommend going a full size up for most people, but I say at least go a half size up in your LeBrons unless you got like a really narrow foot or something. Then you can go true to size, but for most normal size footed folks, buy a half size up or buy whatever size you buy in your normal Air Maxes. Whatever Air Max size you buy, buy that size when it comes to the LeBrons. As far as comfort, these are pretty comfortable, man. I'll give them a B on the comfort scale. Um, I, I was pleased with it. I had them on for a decent amount of time and um, they were cool. I, I didn't really have no complaints. Um, I'll probably do an on foot um, sometime soon with these. I just don't have time to really do it today. But um, yeah, we went over sizes, we went over comfort, we went over all that. Nothing left to do but get up out of here. So I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, do all that good stuff. You got something to say, say it. And uh, until next time, it's your boy McFly, man. I'll holler at you. Oh, 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 oh,